Please don't run. Shush. I like to freaking talk about the Little Caesar crew that I was working with, right? Now, I work fast food and stuff like that, and I've never worked at a, p- a pizza place. So, the pizza place was right next door to my apartment complex. So, it's like, shit, I could get a job here. It won't be far from home. Children right there, you know. This is, of course, my mom had moved over here, so I asked her to be able to watch my children while I was at work and shit, right? So... Everything was cool, you know what I mean? It was a new experience for me. I loved the you know the fact that I was doing something different, doing something new, learning something new. You know, it was just this one asshole ass boss. His name was Lawrence, right? And then it was the fucking other boss. Her name was Alexia, but she had went out on maternity leave not too long after I had got there. And um, they had another manager come in. So they was only putting me on the schedule for like one day a fucking week you know, two at the most. So I asked him, give me a cool fucking three days and have it on consistent set days so that I could just come into work, do what I got to do and go home. New manager, you know, the new replacement manager, he had no problem with that. He he handled my schedule. He gave me a nice little fucking three-day schedule and gave me the days that, you know, that was conducive for me and and a conducive time. So, you know, I was going to work, enjoying what I do. Took my Bluetooth. We could listen to music and stuff while we worked or whatever. So it wasn't nothing. You know, and I didn't have to fucking be told to do X, Y, and Z or whatever. Just show me what it is. And if I have a question, I'll come to you. Uh, I don't know what the hell, you know, I know I smoke bud and shit. And I never fucking went to work smelling like weed or motherfucking smoking on my job. Now, this manager, he ain't had no problem with doing that. This motherfucker will come to work hour hour and a half all late and still clocking for the same shift time that he was supposed to work which was four to closing but was short me my hours and send me the fuck home you know what i mean and so i had told the the manager that had came as a replacement what was going on because i'm like why is it that i'm i asked you to have my day set and to get the extra day and this man right here not letting me do what the hell i'm i came here to do my hours are short my check looking crazy as shit so anywho i fucking quit like my fucking I, I, i got hired the day before my birthday april 15th and i motherfucking quit june motherfucking 18th period because nobody what nobody's about to be dealing with that bullshit like you know trying to trying to sun me and shit and i was the only african-american from what their standard is that worked there you know the time that i did because the gentleman that worked there that was african-american as well he motherfucking quit because of how they was trying to carry him so i guess to work one day then my son had came in there he had came over to my house he had wanted the key so i had it it was close to my break so i told him i was like i gotta go real quick so i'm over at the freaking computer trying to log out i know i had had three sheet uh things that i still had to put the freaking dough in the bottom of the pen because the computer was freaking long it took long to do log in or log out i went there first so that i could just have that shit out the way go hurry up and slap the rest of the motherfucking sheets and put them in the thing so that the uh the pizza makers could just grab them off the shelf this asshole want to start talking to me like i'm a little ass fucking kid and i'm like don't talk to me like that who is you talking to then he want to start saying all this other shit then the motherfucking chick fucking ashley little fucking high schooler i found this shit out way after the fact i'm fucking 40 fucking years old and i'm fucking sitting in a a motherfucking high schooler sitting there trying to disrespect me telling me to get the fuck out and talking to me like i'm a little fucking kid like i told both of them my iq is higher than both of y'all motherfuckers put together motherfucker who is you talking to you got me fucked up matter of fact you ain't even gotta fucking fire me bitches i quit i don't give a fuck what y'all talking about I got that job because that was something that I wanted to try the fuck out. But, you know, uh, a bitch always going to make it make ends meet and make do with what the fuck I have. You know what I mean? I ain't never been a person except for when I was in my addictions to not motherfucking have money on hand or, you know, be able to put up for a rainy day. Because that's another thing that I fucking learned from my grandmother to put something to the side and never go nowhere fucking broke. So I had, you know, money, you know, in the cut, 
to where I could fucking function still. I had paid up my rent for the whole motherfucking year when I moved up in that bitch and had credit on my motherfucking electric bill and on my motherfucking uh, Wi-Fi bill. So then every time I go in there with my kids say they want fucking pizza and shit, the motherfucker asking me, did you find a job yet? Nope. And I'm content not having one. They sitting there trying to figure me out, figure out what's going on. Then them motherfuckers, sorry ass motherfuckers got into a group fucking trap and want to motherfucking sit there and plot and plan and say what the fuck they going to do to some fucking body. Stupid ass motherfuckers strolling over there, riding over there, outside the motherfucking house, in the motherfucking parking lot, sitting the motherfuckers done took my fucking picture, fucking spreading it around motherfucking shit. Yo, Little Caesars fucking offered me a job once they got new management in there they had this one lady in there she went to another little caesar location i guess to be their manager or whatever the fuck then they got a whole nother motherfucking manager in there and i was in there one day and i seen you know it was running a little bit smoother like oh okay so you know he was like you know we hiring blah 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 and i told him i was like yeah i used to work here but the fucking management was shitty i didn't say it like that i talked to him professionally but i told him the management pretty much was not up to par with my fucking standards. You know what I mean? I have standards too. Motherfucker, I don't give a fuck what your title and your position is. What the fuck you ain't gonna do is disrespect me like I'm a little fucking kid. And especially not your kid. And I, I don't even fucking... My mother is not gonna fucking disrespect me no more. So who the fuck do y'all people think y'all is? You know what I mean? Like, what the fuck? If I could fucking tell my mom what the fuck she gonna do and what the fuck she ain't gonna do in my motherfucking life, who the fuck is the next people? Oh, this crazy. So, yeah, I fucking quit. Then I fucking call the fucking corporate. They going to tell me I had to go to the next hiring manager, which was Carlos. I try to fucking hit Carlos up and tell him what's going on. And he tells me pretty much fuck me. And I'm not getting no fucking money. And I only got the money that was uh the hours that is on my fucking paycheck or whatever. But from for like a whole couple of weeks, this motherfucker was shorting me motherfucking hours. And you mean to tell me I can't get paid back? Then he want to sit there and talk shit to me. And then he going to get a bitch a high five as I'm going out the door. He talk about, yeah, we got another one. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Then I run into a motherfucker that worked there previous, which was fucking crazy ass fucking Leah that, that live in the first apartment that I was talking about in a previous fucking video. Her and her fucking gang member fucking parents. She said that she worked there. This was before the fucking squabble or whatever transpired. She said she worked there and they was, you know, making racial slurs and stuff towards her or whatever. So I'm coming in there afterwards and it seemed like when I was working there, the the, the African-American people that was working there, they ain't working there no fucking more. So it was a racial thing. You understand what I'm saying? They kept all of the Spanish folks or Caucasian people and got rid of all of the black people. They ain't had to get rid of me. My motherfucking ass troop Beverly healed out that motherfucker. For real. Like the fucking superstar that I am. And they got me fucked up. Let me talking to nobody any old kind of way. Little Caesars. I should fucking sue y'all motherfuckers for having shitty ass motherfucking managers in there. Defaming people's fucking character and being racially motherfucking discriminative. That's what I should do. Y'all ain't want to pay me my motherfucking money that the motherfuckers was taking from me, robbing me of my fucking hours, but he was robbing y'all motherfuckers coming to clock in an hour and a half after his motherfucking shift, but he put it for the time that he regularly was supposed to come in there. Y'all motherfuckers better get y'all shit together. Pay me my fucking money. 